Um, I guess from from the, the school side, yeah, it was going to be a waste of resources. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I feel because yeah. at the end of the day, it doesn't make yes. sense. You know, you, yeah. you're investing so much into just one person mm. where that person can use the resources of another uh, 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 branch. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, I had to get over it, right? Mm. Tried it out. And then the next year, yeah. for my second year, I, I went to the the, the bigger branch, mm-hmm. right? Um, and funny enough, the people there were very welcoming, mm. very accommodative, very yeah. different cultures. Yeah. I think I made more friends there than I had than I had at the, the mm. more. Were, were there more girls in that other side? There were. There were uh. a little bit more girls than there were in the first branch. Oh, I see. But yeah, you know why? Mm-hmm. The girls that we had in in the second school mm. didn't want to work as hard. Mm. I, the guys were more focused. Mm-hmm. The girls didn't. I think. I think. Because at that time, because that was around 2007. Oh, yeah. Um, there was not enough exposure into tech. Yeah, true, true, true. So yeah, yeah. some of them were trying it out. Mm, and, and they couldn't understand we why. We couldn't understand. Yeah. And I mean, I think also the, the teaching style. Mm. Because we got there and I was still confused. I was like, I don't understand programming. Mm. I don't understand it. So there was also a the problem languages. with the teaching. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if 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 because the exposure I got at the other branch mm. was different. Yeah. That's what made me love mm. languages, mm. you know. And then the the second branch I got, mm. it was like here's your textbook, you guys go learn and stuff, you know. Um and so you're the like, same as this, the <laughs> same experience you had but now it's, with yeah. more people having the same experience because now you're going to learn for yourself the yes, same I'm way go- we would exactly, have done. Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I felt like I could have just done that. Mm. Harry could have given me the chance at yeah. at, at Randburg. Yeah. But um I then just, you know, teamed up with people that know what programming is. Mm-hmm. And most it was Majority guys, I think mm-hmm. the girls that were, there was only three of us that were really passionate in, in, in class about mm-hmm. programming. Yeah. Three girls. Yeah. And the rest were like the guys that were working hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember once we were writing an exam and mm-hmm. I think it was project um, logic and design. Mm-hmm. We used to call it PLAD. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, this girl, mm-hmm. again, willing, this girl <laughs> sitting next to me yeah. and uh, I'm writing, I'm writing. Just as yeah. I'm about to get done, mm-hmm. she grabs my paper and gives me hers. I'm so shocked. What just happened? Mm. And she just swapped our papers. I'm like, what just happened? That means She's you like, have to start all over again. Yeah. She's like, shh. Yeah. I'm like, what? And this, this, this person yeah. hardly attends class. Oh. Hardly. <laughs> hardly. If she does come to class, it's a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do the other know. day? And she, she, I don't know. She copies or something. She writes and then she brings it back. Luckily, she brought it back. Oh, okay. Right, uh-huh. um, but just as uh, they were collecting, uh-huh. and I was like, "What? Like, why were do you done I... bef- when she grabbed?" Yes. Okay. I was done, uh-huh. and I didn't. I wasn't aware that she's looking at me because uh-huh. I'm just busy writing. Uh, and, and then, just as I'm cheating. done, the last uh-huh. yes, she grabs it. So I'm in shock and I'm panicking because had our lecturer seen that, he was going to think it's a it, it was an arrangement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and I was going to fail. Yeah. I was probably just going to be cancelled on that on that class or that exam. Yeah. So I'm shocked and I'm panicking and I'm looking around. I'm like, what is ha- why? Why is this happening to me? What what is it about me? That people that see makes, that you, yes. you can take advantage of. Why this? is it what is it about me that makes me look like so easy to to the easy target? Yes. <laughs> you know, when she yeah. gave it back, I was just relieved. I and I immediately gave my paper away. I didn't even you know, after you write an exam, after mm. you you're done, you mm. want to double check your answers. Mm. I did not even do that. So she put you in a disadvantage? Yes. She put you in a risk? <laughs> I was like, what? And also she made you ask yourself a lot of questions. Yes, <laughs> like, at that point. What, what's, yeah. what's happening? <laughs> but uh-huh. um, Did you pass the exam though? Yeah, yeah I did. Uh-huh. I loved PLED. Okay. Project, uh, project Logic and Design. I've always liked it. Nice. So maybe that's why I also like you know, project uh, management, management and stuff. Yeah, yes, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Um, And then we had uh, System Analysis and Design. Mm. We used to call it SAD. Mm. That is like, oof. You know, you, you would understand system <laughs> analysis and design. That's Sad. like, oh, <laughs> that is like all the, you yeah. know, you're uh, um, planning all the, the SQL stuff and whatnot mm. uh, and uh, relationships and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah, but I mean, those were the pro- the, the, the kind of subjects I enjoyed mm-hmm. when we got to, to, to 
tertiary. Yeah. And that is that was something that made me fall in love with tech because mm. I've never had exposure to these things. Yeah. In high school, when you go to computer class, mm -hmm. it was just an Excel mm. sheet that yeah. was already opened for you. Yeah. And you you know, that's where you would learn to type. So mm. in tertiary, that's when I got my first um computer mm. because of the projects we get we got. Oh, yeah. you so know? that you can explore other yes. things that yes. so that's computer. that's how I got into into tech. That's yeah. that's what made me excited. Yeah. You know, we were still burning discs. Uh, I mean music yeah, yeah, yeah. onto a disc and yeah, they're yeah. called diskettes. <laughs> yeah. yes. You guys use diskettes, right? Yes. Or you just use the CDs? Uh, before we had we had that diskettes, what do you yeah. call it yeah. yes we yeah. had diskettes right yeah, yeah. and then we had CD uh, and then CD DVDs yes, and now flash and, disc yes, and, and now we're moving to cloud so now it's, it's cloud our, it's our process it's like I don't even have a flash drive yeah, yeah. you know someone like who will listen to these 50 years to come they'll be like now what are they talking cloud? about cloud I know CD? cloud you know? no you're talking about CD <laughs> and diskettes and you know DVDs yeah Cloud, yeah. maybe it will be something. It will be something different. different. That's how tech yes, moves for, and it I think evolves from the fast. years you have said is not more than ten years ago. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, it is. Yeah, and it actually does feel mm. like it's old. No, it, it does it's like ten, feel twelve like years, old. thirteen years. People use diskettes. Yes, which could not carry floppy one disks. MB. That's what we used to call it. Yes. Yeah, floppy disks. Floppy disks. Yes, I don't know that's how old diskettes. I am. Oh my god! Yeah, the word disket. Yeah, floppy disk. <laughs> that's yeah. how old I yeah. am. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, come on, guys! It's like twelve years ago, that's what people mm, use. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's where my tertiary three, journey started. Wait a minute, three MB of space. Imagine three MB. You would save your Word document in there, and then you have another fluffy disk yeah. for your Excel, and then your PowerPoint, yeah. and your Access file, mm. and your yeah, it was Word, uh, Excel, Powerpoint. Um, access that's why yeah. like you you know all the relationship you tables and linking save it a to photo in that. <laughs> you can't no you couldn't no photos no yeah. music yeah. just it has to be a very short yeah. you know document yeah. that doesn't have too many pictures yeah yeah mm. and now we have uh, micro sds which are one terabyte seriously yeah 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 yes. Yeah, yeah yes and the one that we're using here to record is like 120 gb just a small piece of that's out there piece of plastic moves. yeah yes, yes. It moves so fast that sometimes if you're not catching up, you'll just be, mm -hmm. you know, redundant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So go on, go on. Sorry, I had to make oh, that no. so that people it, get the context is, of yeah. what, what actually it, happens. It, I, and I like that. Yeah. So people really understand, you know, like the, the uh, I'm, and I'm sure, I mean, this has been brought up in some of the, you know, um, courses and stuff that, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. this, this is where we started. Yeah. yeah. But they the call reality it Turing. It, I think Turing, Turing something, uh, whereby the technology changes after every 18 months. Yes, yes. And it doesn't just change or improve, you know, in, you know, small margin. It changes altogether. Sticky. Everything that you exactly. think you knew, you need to relearn or yes. maybe upgrade your knowledge about it. That's the thing about tech. Yeah. You cannot use 22 years ago's knowledge mm. today. Mm. It does not work. Even six months ago, mm. it does not work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? So, um, yeah, I, I think that that is something I've always liked about technology. Yeah, I yeah. wanted an industry where I need to constantly learn. Mm. I really need to constantly be learning something new. Yeah. And always be, uh, be because because you you have felt like an outcast for yeah. so many years yeah. in tech. You yeah. find your you find your people. Yeah. We are all weirdos in our own right. Yeah. And it's fun. And yeah. it's yeah. it's like being in the creative industry. Yeah. Creatives are weirdos that have accepted themselves and yeah. they like themselves. And they see things differently. And they see things differently and they embrace it. Yeah. yeah. So that's also tech. Yeah. I feel like people in tech don't mm. have to explain themselves. Mm. You know? Yeah. Unlike if I'm going to be in business, there's mm -hmm. a structure and a way to look and feel and do things, yeah. you know? Yeah. But in tech, it's just you. Mm -hmm. You are enough and you come as you are as long as you have a drive for knowledge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and um, so, yeah, that was, that was tertiary. And then after tertiary, I really thought I was going to get a job in, in IT. Mm. I was excited. <laughs> but... Yeah. Also, economic pressures. Okay. You know, there's pressure, pressure, pressure to yeah. find a job because you can't just be at home and try to find a job. It, it's, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. So I found a, a job at a media monitoring company. Okay. 
and we did media analysis. Uh-huh. So anything that's on the news, the radio, TV, mm. newspapers, magazines, we did you guys it. listen to the TVs, radio yes. the whole day? Yes. Writing Even notes? Ah. Even adverts. Were you writing notes or recording? Okay. So there's different departments. Okay. There's print, mm-hmm. there's broadcast, mm-hmm. right? Print, there's newspapers and magazines. Mm-hmm. In those, there is... Um, There's daily newspapers, there's weekly magazines, monthly magazines, business, animals, all the different types. So there's different different types of customers, Mm -hmm. right? And they want, they will tell you, Mm -hmm. I'm getting mentioned Mm -hmm. in this particular newspaper. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you need to tell them on which page they got mentioned. Mm -hmm. And you need to show them a clip of the article. Mm -hmm. And you need to measure the Mm -hmm. worth of that article, financial worth. Yes, so, we used so to, you have to write a whole report. Advertising value equivalent. So oh if you were to place an ad yeah. on that paper, on that same page, on that same spot, it would be worth this amount. Where was this important? This is for PR. So public relation offices yeah. use it to know the worth of their brand. Mm. Right? Mm. If you want to know what, how, what is Africa's Talking's worth, mm-hmm. you know, and I tell you, mm-hmm. you guys got featured in five front page newspaper. I mean, in, in five front pages of, mm-hmm. of a newspaper, a mm-hmm. daily newspaper that is read by five million people in the country. Mm-hmm. And then, so that matters. Yeah. That detail matters to the, the PR managers. It's like quantifying what value you'll get yes. if you advertise. If you were to it. advertise, what is the value of, of, of yeah. that particular. Yeah. Do you think um, that's okay. still. Is that thing or is just It's still a right thing. Oh, okay. Media monitoring companies still exist. Yeah. It's just that things are different now because yeah. everything is online. Yeah. You know, and now we're looking at a click per second. Yeah. We're looking at, you know, different kind of metrics mm. instead of uh, print. Mm. Even though you still have print papers, but mm. we don't, people don't really read um, hard copies as much as they would read an article online. Yeah. And by the time you get a hard copy, it's all new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And you don't frame hard copies anymore. Mm. These newspapers I was, I'm telling you about in 2008 <laughs> and 9. It used to be a big thing. You would cut it. They would frame it if it was good news. We were news. The big telcos. You mm. frame it. You know? <sighs> yes, it means something to them. And the the, the executive um, uh, uh, members, mm-hmm. they want that mm-hmm. piece of information mm-hmm. before even they wake up in the morning. You know how we wake up and the first thing we want is Twitter or this and that? Yeah. That was the first item they want. I want to know what the world is saying about my business because Mm -hmm. then I need to have a response Mm. before 8 a.m. You know, before. So you monitor each and every. Every article. We used to monitor. So how many, how many, how many, how many dailies did you read in that before midday? Oh gosh. In Joburg alone, I think we had over 13, 7 to 13 days. And how many were you? Well, the company was big. No, the guys who just read these dailies. Oh, there would be around 12 people. Oh, okay. So at least two each or three each. One, yeah. So, yes, two each. So, mm. and remember, you're looking for different things. Oh, yeah. You have people that are reading for the banks, mm. people that are reading for the telcos, people mm. that are reading for community. People, there's. Did you do this overnight now that you said, uh, you know, the CEO when he wakes up, you know. They start at 4.30. 4.30 a.m. So you like have radio. to be in the office. It's like how radio morning shows work. Yes. You have to be there, maybe do your research after a while. Yeah. Eh, no, this is the story. Too. Yes, exactly. Wow. The print monitors, yeah. they come to work around. So the newspapers, when they if they drop them off at 3 a.m., yeah. the print monitors have to be there. Yeah. And they, this was the days of scanning stuff. Mm, now the print papers the are fax, available. The fax age. <laughs> the, the scanning machines. There was these huge, <laughs> yeah, yeah. super expensive scanning machines. Yeah. They would scan the newspapers into into these to um for to for OCR. Mm. Yeah. So that it's faster for the readers to 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 punch in the keywords and find our customers if you want to be fast. Mm, right. So that I by see. 8 a.m. we have your your yeah. all your uh, your coverage. Yeah. And then you also have the broadcast people that would be listening to the 8 a.m. news. Name. Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes after they mention you, it we have to send you an SMS to say just five you minutes ago, they mentioned you. And they said And they're saying this and this. What do you so want to say? So you must respond now because broadcast is as live as online, right? If I call the radio station, I'm now complaining this news to me. Like, about I the president. I never knew this yeah. exists. I'm complaining about the president of Kenya, the, the presidential um, um, yeah. spokesperson. Or press. Or yeah. press or yeah. anyone. Mm-hmm. Has to, I mean, the presidential spokesperson has to have a response. Mm-hmm. 
within five minutes. Yeah, I know this actually happens with the president. Uh, yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, that's how they know what is going on, yes. where and everything. Yes. But never new companies actually are these articulate yeah. about how they're mentioned, yes. when they're mentioned, yes. where they're mentioned. Yes. And oh. it matters where you are mentioned too. Yeah. If you're mentioned in some station that's full of and propaganda, I, they don't really care. They'll, yeah. They don't even yeah. have to respond. Yeah. Don't worry but if, you, if the prominent ones... You know, the big stations, the, the, ones, that the ones that where business people go, because yeah. that's where the investors are, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, then you want good press, yeah. right? Then they would. that's where they would have to make sure you're always on the ball with, mm. these, with these stations. Mm. So, and then you had mm. the analysts. The analysts are the people that go through the items that we've been monitoring mm. for a certain per- period of time. Mm-hmm. Some companies um, wanted their uh, 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 m- monitoring, mm. I mean, analysis mm. every week, mm. every bi-weekly, every month and every quarter. Yeah. The motoring industry, they want it every month. What? They want to know if they're launching a new product, a yeah. new uh, 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 model, yeah. they, you, they will be on their watch. Every week they need to know what, who, who are the, the, the magazines that mm-hmm. are reporting about their cars? Mm-hmm. Who are the reviewers of their cars? Mm-hmm. What are they saying? Mm-hmm. If they paid someone to review it, they mm-hmm. need to know that those people got press coverage yeah. or, 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 or broadcast coverage yeah. and it needs to be analyzed, yeah. you know, because they need to take that back to their leaders to say, yeah. South Africa is saying this about this German car. Ah. Yes. This so this is even overseas kind of conversation yes. that is happening yes. on the real time. It influences. And let me ask this to even me, international out of brands yeah. like yeah. fashion brands. Yeah, we used to do precise monitoring of them. Yeah, yeah. I can't mention brands, of For course, sure, yeah, but yeah. you would be surprised at the kind of brands that we were the, the ones that you would pay high prices to just get a bag. Yeah. What they are want, people talking they want about their press. Thing? Yes, we, we got um, mentioned yeah. in, in South Africa on this particular magazine, mm. and um, you need to measure it. Mm. You need to measure the article, tell them what and it's worth, it, what that mention, yes, what that mention is worth. Yeah. And they take it back to the head office to say, This is what they're saying in South Africa mm. about us. This is how much the store is making. Mm. So we need to push these yeah. kind of products yeah, yeah. to the SA market. Yeah, yeah. So do you understand where, yeah. Was so well, this one of like top PR, uh, you know, organization in South Africa? Yes. Oh, okay. That one was the, oh, the biggest mm. and the best. Do you think also that also informed how, you know, we have most of the stores, most of the companies opening in South Africa or um, this was just, you know. Yes, I think, I think media monitoring just um, did influence uh, a lot of the, a lot of growth in, yeah. in, in, in a certain, in, in particular uh, markets. Yeah, yeah. Because, like you said, that exposure. Yeah. They want to monitor that exposure. To so see that if it's they, worth yes, it, you know, if they open. Yes, yeah, to yeah. know whether it is actually worth an investment or yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, one of the biggest, um, I remember... I, um, I used to do everyday reporting and analysis for one of the biggest millers mm. in SA. Mm. Flour and, miller? Huh? What kind of miller? No, 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 uh, beer. Oh, beer, yes, beer. Okay. Yes, beer okay. okay. Yes, beer millers. And uh, brewery. It was okay. a brewery. Yeah. And um, so they would report mm. every morning to London mm. to say this is what's happening down in SA. And there was so many, so much investment from, flown coming down. Coming from London. Yes, coming yeah. from London yeah. to SA because... They, they, because of that coverage, you know, because of that exposure, yeah. it, it grew them. Yeah. It grew them so much. Yeah. Yeah. To me, this, this is really interesting because I'm learning so many things at the same time. And I'm sure anyone who will listen to this, who will listen to this, go learn this. Yeah. And this tells me a couple of things. Number one is that um, you, you cannot take things just for granted. You need, you know, analysis. You need research. You yes. You need to put people every single day worried about what is happening on the ground, mm. how your decision are informed, and all these things. But nevertheless, um, it also gave you a lesson that you have done all these computing stuff, you, you know, you have done uh, programming, but now you are here analyzing data, you know, writing reports, working under pressure, because I don't think if you, you guys, like even from for that, mm-hmm. you have pressure to deliver at seven when these people wake up. What did you learn out of all this? Um, you need to be very precise. Mm. Customers and don't intentional. Think. You need to be intentional. Yeah. And very precise. Customers don't. So when a customer complains, mm. you need to understand, you need to understand their complaint. Yeah. 
to you, it might be, ah, oh, come on, I missed an article. It was just one article out mm. of 50 that I give you. Mm. But to them, that one article means so much to them. Yeah. It influence, it, it, inf, it, it has business influence. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. You yeah. need to be very precise. Yeah. I also learned to work hard. Yeah. I, so when I was in that company, I used to work with people that have been in the company for more than five years and they haven't been promoted. Because? And they did not mind. I don't know why. Um, well, they just accepted their fate so, and said, you know what? Yeah, I, I have I a place to leave. I don't know. You know because that. when I got there, yeah. so the first thing, I got there as an admin person. Okay, okay. And I told myself, I'm not going to be admin, admin for forever. Now. Yeah. And I went to my supervisor and I told them, I'm going to work hard to prove to you that I'm capable. Yeah, more than an admin. Yes, yeah. but I'm more than admin. Yeah. She told me that you are the reason I'm able to take leave. Huh. I can now The day she promoted leave. you? No, that was not, that was not a promotion. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. You are, so it was, I was doing her job, but I did not have the title. And, and, and even the pay. <laughs> and, and even the pay. But I will tell you how I sneaked into the system I and see, got the pay I, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. So um, she was a very nice boss. Mm. And I, I could understand the dynamics that they had. Mm -hmm. um, and that um, she, it was not in her control. Mm. Yes, she was white. Mm. She was Afrikaner. Yeah. But she did not have control. She want, mm. she everywhere where she could place me mm. to be seen, yeah. she would do it. Yeah. But she had no control of the how leadership outcome, yeah. made up their mind. Yeah. You know, she would mention me in, in, in meetings. Yeah. She would mention me in places that were speaking about growth. Yeah. But she had no influence yeah. over, you know, uh, what management does yeah. about that. Yeah. So the best we can do is, I'm just going to do your job when you're not here. You know, so I can, we, we can prove that the work can get done. Yeah. I ended up being the supervisor of four, yeah, around 20 more or 40 people. Mm. So it, I, I was a supervisor of two departments. Mm -hmm. And these are people older than me. There are more people experience. that are 60, yeah. 60 year olds that have been in the industry for like five years. Yeah. And I've only been there for a year. Yeah. But I was able to know more mm. than they did. And this was because I had a thirst for mm, technology. The curiosity. The curiosity. Why this is happening. Yes. Why, why do we, how can we do things faster? Yeah. You know, how can we move more? Um, how can we be more swift, mm. you know, in our processes? Mm. How can we be more efficient without draining ourselves? Mm -hmm. You know, how do we create a culture where people are able to express themselves? Mm -hmm. And I would get feedback, mm. you know, from the people I'm supervising that, wow, mm. you know, since we are under your leadership, it, Things are more yes. Uh, the the more pain fun, might more, be the same. Yeah, yeah, you know the frustrations might be the same because we're still monitoring. You know, yeah, yeah. But we there's job security. Like we feel we feel like we belong. Mm. You come to work and you're not thinking anything negative about your boss true, or, true. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And that to me that was rewarding. Yeah, that was very even rewarding. Even beyond the pay, even beyond the the, yes. the, the, the title. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. And because I couldn't get the pay I wanted and grow the way I wanted, yeah. I then started building relationships with my customers. Nice. Right? Nice. Because I need recognition. Yeah. I need to be known in the industry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That if you want something done, do me can get it done for you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is how I also got some exposure. Mm. Unfortunately, that company got liquidated because of bad leadership. What? Yes. It got liquidated. When you were working there? Yes. One year down the line? Um, It was... I Two years. Two years down yeah, the line. Two and there's a half no years. more company. No more company. So what do you do at this point? Oof. There's too much Going pressure. through liquidation is you know when you find out about liquidation. Yeah. Um or the way we found out. Yeah. It was sudden. I hope it's not in the news that you peruse every No, 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 no. It was it was it was before Twitter got smarter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, smarter than us. Yeah. Um yeah. we just once had a company meeting and they're like Oh, there's no money. Oh, we're liquidating we're done, the company. Yeah. Um, wow. You know, and, and just like that. Yeah, and you're in denial, right? You're like, no, no, you no. Know, maybe these are, yeah. these are pulling out. And they're also sounding hopeful. Oh, we're speaking to this bank and this bank. You know, uh, maybe they will invest and whatnot. And they know this uh, is done. You know, it's not going to happen. And now you're looking at unions. Now there's unions coming to you guys telling you, oh, we can help you. 
you know, uh, get a severance p- uh, package. We can help you with this, with that. Yeah. And you invest so much of your energy into mm. these conversations, mm. hoping to get something out of it and you don't. Yeah. To me, that reminded me of poverty. What? It reminded me that... Everything can be taken away from everything you. Everything can be taken away from and you. And you cannot recover. Yes. And when you are the most vulnerable, yeah. that's when you get now leeches coming to you and saying, I can change you, I can change you. Do this. Force Do that. Force. Yes. Yeah. Everyone, like, let's go left. Yeah. Let's go right. Uh-huh. Let's go up. I remember we, were, we once went to Pretoria and we were waiting the whole day for, I don't know, who from the union was supposed to come and do what or update us about when our packages are coming out or what they had said to management. But I waited, we waited there, a lot of us, mm. all blacks, and um, nobody came. Or if they came, probably they didn't give anything substantial. And I was like, I'm not doing this again. Mm. I wasted a day where I could have been job hunting. Yes. I do not do these yeah. And how far is it from, what, what was this? Is this Cape Town? Or? No, no, no. This is Pretoria. Pretoria and Joburg, like uh, 60, close to 60 kilometers. So that's like one hour. One hour one drive, hour, yes. Drive, yeah. Okay. And you're using public transport, so it becomes more than an hour. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. two hours. So it's like a Matatu to Joburg can take you 45 minutes. A Matatu to Pretoria will take you an hour and 10 minutes. All these places are close by? Uh, yes, if you drive, you get to Joburg in 20 minutes. Mm. If you're driving to Pretoria, you get there in an hour or in like 40 minutes. Depends on how you're driving. I see, yeah. So, but because you're using a Matatu, of course, trust me, you it's going to go through. You have no control how yes. things are happening here. Yeah, so it yeah. Take, takes you like two hours to go and attend an empty meeting. And, you know, so that struggle just told me, nah, I'm this not going not back to it. poverty. Yeah. And then um, one of the ladies that we used to work with was like, hey, yeah. Um, I just spoke to some of my contacts mm-hmm. and um, I'm just going to open my own media monitoring company. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come work for me? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Went to work for her. Why not? For, unfortunately, it <laughs> didn't work out because also work culture is a thing and it, uh, it, um, energies did not match yeah, there. You yeah. know, our work culture was was clashing. Yeah, yeah. So I left. Yeah. And when I left, I was like, I'm going to start my own. Mm. So I, I, I got a business partner. We started our own Actually, he was the one who's like, hey, let's do, let's, let's do this. So, mm. so we did it. Mm. Um, and it was good. Mm. And it, was, it, it was profitable. Mm. What was this business? It, it was media analysis as well. Okay. Media monitoring and analysis. Okay. It was good. Profitable. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. It was, I think to date, it was still my favorite business because nice. yeah. I was young. Mm. I could do anything to You're explore. Too hungry to learn. I was to, hungry and I was angry. Things. Because I don't want to go back to poverty. Yeah. I had to cash out on all my insurance mm-hmm. to feed money into this business, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, the business didn't didn't work out, but not because of lack of customers. Mm-hmm. I had very good lucrative customers. Mm-hmm. And I would share a little bit of uh, what I learned from one of my customers yeah. there. Um, but it, it didn't work out because of, again, um, you know, you need to be careful. True, true. When you start a business, yeah. you need to choose your founders or your mm. co-founders carefully yeah. because that affects the business. Yeah, yeah. That affects the growth of the business. Yeah. The vision I had for the business was different to what the bus- uh, my business partner had yeah. Yeah. at the time. Yeah. And I was more tech focused. I really yearned for tech. Yeah. This was the time where Twitter was now becoming popular, mm-hmm. where you could find news on Twitter before press and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And I was like, no, man, we need to move. Yeah. Social media monitoring is now becoming a the big thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's no longer just broadcast and print. Yeah. But then, you know, the person didn't believe the same, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and then I was like, yo, I'm out. <laughs> because I'm not growing. Yeah. It's my own business. Yeah. It is my own business. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it because I get to make my own money. Mm-hmm. I'm my own boss. Yeah. I get to hire people and yeah. <laughs> we work together and we enjoy working together. Yeah. But are um, changing lives. Yes, yeah. but it's not working out. Mm-hmm. I'm not growing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yes, I've got control, but I'm not growing. True, true. I went to my competitor. Ah. I told them, 